hello and uh, welcome everyone so in this video we will talk about uh, the new object what actually the new object is and so we write a lot of functions uh, daily 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 to daily like uh, function hello and what, what we start doing it we start creating the object of this function using constructor over x equal to uh, new hello right so this is how we create a object of a function but do we know what actually happens because now it is giving you the the object whose proto is pointing to this function constructor and again this proto points to the object right this is how the chain works which we already seen that in the proto and prototype chart that how the proto and prototypes are constructed so right now this is a type of x is an object because we have created an object of the function so what actually happened whenever you write a new keyword so the first of all it is clear that obviously it is creating an object of that function right and whenever we are creating the object a lot of things are getting initialized so whenever new object is created this is bound to the new object so whenever we write a new key, new function name, right? We are creating the new object. Consider new is an empty object, and this is bound to the properties of this object. Okay. So unless the function returns its own object, the call will return the constructed object, right? So if you see. What is happening here so you call this person and you are just calling the function this is a plain very plain function which you are dealing with you created a object of this function so whenever you are creating the object first of all it is a new object is it is creating okay and binding this new object to the, this object so this is bound to the new object so when I'm seeing person dot name, I'm able to access the value, right? Uh, the name property, because after creating the new object, this is bound to this newly created object. Okay. Now consider this example. So can we write this new function by ourselves? What this new function is doing, right? So we try to do that. We can create a new function. So what new function is actually doing? it is first of all creating the empty object and if function dot prototype is not equal to null like uh, this check i have placed because what we are doing we will be creating the object by calling this new function and we, we need to pass the function whose object we are going to create okay and the argument if possible let's forget about argument for now okay so the new keyword new function we are calling and we are passing the function so obviously function will have a prototype its prototype will not be null if that is the case then initialize the proto of the object with the prototype of the function okay so this line gives a power to the newly created object which is an empty at line 23 now it got a power now return that newly created object so this is how we are actually creating the new object we are creating empty object binding this object to that and returning it in the binding what we do we actually assign the proto of that object with the prototype of the function obviously object has a proto and function has a prototype and we are creating object so we need to initialize the proto to something and here we are initializing the proto of that object with the the, the prototype of that function which we are passing right so this is how it works and, and this works very well if you are passing some arguments also like one or two or three then you need to just uh, put apply uh, you need to do a call apply onto those arguments okay onto the functions and then you need to return that new function object so person is not defined i need to select this also
15 something is okay a is not defined i'm not even including a whoever it is so we got the value alex right so this is how it works right this is the very basic uh, how we are creating the object and if you see that in the details this is what actually happens so whenever you do the new functions it create an empty object okay what it will do assign the proto of the newly created object with the prototype of the function okay then if there are arguments also that function is taking uh, then it's assigning those arguments return only newly created object finally right the newly created object has a proto which is pointing to the functions prototype and the arguments or the value which you are passing that's it so this is the implementation of a new object sorry new function by yourself what actually happens whenever you write a new so also think about like whenever you write or x equal to this what actually is happening or or y equal to new object uh, we know that both are same both product is pointing to the capital or object function right but think about it what actually happens and is both are same what is happening in this empty curly braces what is happening in the new object right this is also doing the same thing directly or indirectly this is also the same thing 